An urgent investigation underway into Singapore Airlines flight SQ-321 after a passenger was killed and more than 100 injured when the plane hit dangerous turbulence. The NTSB traveling to the region to gather evidence as investigators try to figure out what happened. New video shows the damage inside the plane, ceiling panels hanging, food and wine all over the floor. Passengers being taken off on stretchers, treated under tents on the tarmac in Bangkok where the plane made an emergency landing. I saw people from across the aisle just like going completely horizontal, hitting the ceiling and people like getting massive gashes in their head. And on the plane, you can see oxygen masks dangling from above and dented overhead bins. On its way from London to Singapore Tuesday, the plane hit an air pocket above Myanmar. The sky appeared calm, but so-called clear air turbulence made the plane drop 100 feet, then climb 300 feet. On board, 211 passengers and 18 crew members, including four Americans. Anyone not wearing a seatbelt likely would have hit the ceiling, then slammed into the floor. As of now, most commercial airplanes have no way to detect this kind of clear air turbulence. We believe that the weather was fairly good. We believe that the airplane had its weather radar on. The seatbelt sign apparently only came on a few seconds prior to hitting this turbulence. Andrew Davies was on board and saw the last moments of 73-year-old Jeff Kitchen's life. The worst thing I saw was for two people, obviously, apart from the gentleman who lost his life. Singapore Airlines CEO saying they're cooperating with the investigation. We are very sorry for the traumatic experience that everyone on board SQ321 went through. A Bangkok airport manager says the British national who died may have suffered a heart attack, but that has not yet been confirmed. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.